Hey, Rock of Roseville Church family, we have some exciting news for you. Before we give you that news, Mark, good to see you. Good to see you, bro. What is, uh, we start every meeting that we do in any context with wins. So in light of what we're going through right now with this COVID-19 experience and hopefully at the tail end of it, give us a win. Yeah, I, I, I would say that one of the biggest wins I've seen is that people who are in community here at The Rock have just been fully engaged either on Zoom virtually or meeting socially distanced for coffee and getting together and fellowshipping. That aspect of true authentic expression of our faith has not skipped a beat. Our community groups have continued to meet, pray with each other, be there for each other, and sometimes in person, but mostly virtually. Yeah. So it's been awesome. You know, I yeah. think a, a win is you hear that statement all the time, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> and it's really true, man. You, the people I talk to, the meetings that I'm on, there is this longing to get back face to face with people. Yes. You know, thank God for Zoom and FaceTime, but mm -hmm. you know, nothing beats nah. up close, personal, huggy huggy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, I even want to hug you. Right I now, do too, Bob, but, but we, we need to maintain yeah. our distance. Yeah. So, anyways, we've got some announcements to make. Yeah, and, we do um, some exciting what do you stuff. Got, Mark? Yeah. Well, um, first of all, well, I thought you were going to start this portion. Bob. Well, no, this is it, this has details, and <laughs> oh, oh, you know me, okay. I don't do good with details. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, everybody <laughs> is missing everyone, as Bob said, and they're all anxious to get back and. You know, there's so many different sources of information. Yeah. And, you know, we have to consider those, but it just blows me away how political people can make this. Yeah. And that's not what we're doing. We're making this about us and Jesus yeah. and worshiping Him together as a family. And so we're going to just really focus on that as we move forward. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the other thing when you hear people uh, using terminology like, you know, the church is shut down. Church has never been yeah. shut down. Yeah. The church will never be shut down yeah. because Jesus said, I'm going to build the church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So the church has not been shut down. The church has not saw, stopped and the church hasn't lost any traction, really. The only no. thing that's missing is that weekend experience, corporate dynamic of worship, which is a big thing. It is a big deal. But it's not the whole thing. That's so, right. That's right. And I, I feel like... Uh, even though that's being missed, people have been, our family has been so faithful yeah, to true. in giving, true. amazing, amazing, just in giving and participation, praying for one another, all the activities. So here's the details, everyone. You know, we're looking, first of all, write this down. We're looking at a launch date of June the 14th. And uh, we obviously want to go back to services as normal and we want to get to that day. We long for that day. But according to the current guidelines of the CDC, which we have considered, obviously we would, uh, it, it, it has significant restrictions that would make this very awkward. Uh, number one, everyone in the building would have to wear a mask. That means, Bob, you'd be preaching with a mask on. Okay. Yeah, like I got that. a loud mouth, I can still do it. You could. And, uh, and uh, everybody in the building would have to be wearing masks. We could not sing out loud indoors. That would not be smart. Singing for a half hour is like a half hour long sustained sneeze. So we would not want to do something like that. Um, we would only be able to take up to 75 people in the sanctuary. Well, by the time you get all the staff yeah. and everything, we'd yeah. be able to take maybe 30 or 40 yeah. people, you know? So, and we would not be able to take children at all. Kids can't yeah. socially distance. Right. So we have a unique situation at the rock yeah. we have this huge lawn yeah <laughs> that is we said hey let's leverage that if we do our services outside on the lawn starting at 9 a.m so we can beat the heat for everyone we can have a worship service outside in the open air complete with singing socially distance of course children can sit with their families we can fill up that whole lawn area and take many people at one time and there will be live streaming for those of you who wish to stay at home and those of you who have uh, special physical uh, concerns we would ask you to stay at home for this we will also have viewing parties 
at homes for those of you who are more comfortable with smaller groups and not being a part of a bigger group. So we will have home viewing parties for you. So that's the good news, Bob. That's We're going to be news. able to worship outside, yeah. have the full uh, a, a worship band out there. The message yep. will be out there, yep. and we'll be streaming that, and yeah. it'll be phenomenal. It'll be safer outside. Yeah, safe uh, in the sun. So it's a, so it's a BYOB. Bring your own blanket. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. BYOB. Yeah. Yeah. Bring your own chair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and bring your own shade. Yeah. You know, make sure if you have a. a umbrella or an easy up or something bring your own shade the rock couldn't possibly set up shade for 300 people so you're gonna have to bring your own and uh, get there early and get set up and have some time of fellowship with people who are six feet away six feet of fellowship and we'll have water yeah we'll We'll provide the water we'll have some water you don't have to bring your own water we'll have some water there I so it, it's going to be fun, It'll man. Be fun. I'm excited. I'm it's a great it. solution. Praise yeah. God we have that launch. Yes. You know, that makes all the difference in the world. It'll be great. Awesome. Good. All right. Well, God bless you, everybody. God bless you guys. Thanks.